Wish me luck as you wave me Siri. goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is a very positive and public kind of person. He loves being out there. He loves, loves being photographed. He's always been very happy to be in paintings. He's always wanted, you know, to offer himself as a model. So, I mean, you have to take these offers up. Above all, I'm a poet, and uh, in the last 18 years, I've been virtually a full-time poet, but uh, you don't make any money that way. So, uh, for many decades I was a university teacher as well, and before that I had the usual array of jobs. I worked in a coal mine, I worked in a mill, all sorts of things like that. Uh, but I settled down teaching people. As I've become better known as a poet, essentially poetry has been the thing that I do and the thing which I'm known. That's a dog. <laughs> I guess with the portrait of Chris, the main symbols are that it's, you know, it's symbolic of, of our life. You know, mm. books are symbolic of him, I guess. But the, the difficulty is that painting Chris, at any rate, is that he has a tendency to go to sleep, which is why he's reading in that portrait, um, because I realised it was going to be the only way he would stay awake. He's, otherwise, he would be asleep in two minutes, probably. <laughs> I do mull over a fair bit. Uh, I do walk a lot. A lot of poems begin while I'm walking through cityscapes or suburbscapes or landscapes. I, l I love looking at things. I love using my eyes, which is a link with painting also. Uh, but sometimes I set myself deliberate tasks. Sometimes I, I, I feel I have to do this. Sometimes I'm commissioned. I just wrote a poem on the 40, 400th anniversary of Shakespeare's death, with a wombat in it. <laughs> yes, well, I, de I developed a sense that, just like the history of art, the history of poetry was a gigantic paint box in which all sorts of colours and all sorts of tones and depths could be found, and that we, you were able to range through all this, you were able to explore this, and come back with tones, perfumes, uh, colours, shapes, figures, things like that, the things that fill the world. I haven't been up yet with it, with, with it on the walls, but I'm very pleased, I'm very pleased. I believe I'm next to a princess. <laughs> Even now. <laughs> <laughs> Touché. <laughs> Thank you.